Okay, well, <clears throat> it's morning. And this is Wilson Creek shelter. And I'm packed up and ready to go. I was one of the first people up, but then I went back to sleep and then um, took my time packing up. <clears throat> the plan today is to go to Boblet Shelter. It's like seven and a half miles from here. And um, water is an issue up on the ridge. We're going to, we're me and you, because you're going to come along. We're going to be on the Blue Ridge Parkway today. And what's magical about that is that there are, in the pullouts, picnic tables and trash cans. I can offload some of my garbage. Yes. Okay, I'm going to get hiking. So this is the last water for six, almost seven miles. And so I just filled up, cameled up, drank lots of water, and I'm about ready to go. fell over. So here is the backside of Taylor Mountain Overlook and I was just interviewed for a newspaper um, by people in the parking lot. Um, it was so much fun. The Roanoke, whatever the paper is in Roanoke. <laughs> so super cool. I'm gonna get back to the woods here. <laughs> to do today and um it's all water dependent it's like four miles to boblet shelter then you have to walk a quarter mile down to get water quarter mile to come back up nobody likes that and then to the next water is at bear wallow gap which is like five miles from here so, um, these really nice people at the Overlook, at the Montville Overlook, had water. And now I have enough water to do whatever I wanted for dinner and to drink. So, I think, sorry, I have a scratch. So, I think I will stealth camp, maybe. I'll just go until I don't want to go anymore. I'm not going to go down to Boblets, though. Maybe I'll go all the way to Bear, Bear Wallow Gap or somewhere in between but now I have options because I have water 
from the lovely people that gave me their water. <sighs> Let's get going. Oh, I forgot. There's a trash can here and I'm sitting at a picnic table. So I had a snack, I peed, I put my trash in the trash can and I got some water. It's and it's a lovely view. Uh, who could ask for anything more? It's great. Let's get down the trail. <laughs> spot random water not a whole lot but enough I don't know if you can tell the sun setting behind me yeah I think you can well <clears throat> let's talk about today had a good day went 7.42 miles or something like that do not stay at the shelter because I don't think there's any room at the end because there's a group of kids um, down at the shelter and uh, there's really no tenting places at the shelter. They're flat. So, because it's on the side of the hill and then you got to walk a quarter mile down and then you got to do 0.2 to the water. So I decided to just push on, to push on, and I got about uh, not even half a mile, and I found a very lovely campsite with a fire ring, and then random trail water, that's what I call it when there's water that shows up um, that isn't documented on gut hook. So there was water, so I didn't have to worry about water, because I was just going to have some, you know, a sandwich or something pretty dry, not cooked tonight. Anyways, I did get water, and so I had lovely spaghetti, and my belly's full. I think I had a hard day. I hit about the six mile mark, and then I just got really tired, and my feet were hurting because they start to swell, and it squishes the neuromas on both sides but I was fine up until then so when that happens what I have to do is take off my shoes and air my feet out I soaked them in, in a creek like ice them down or just get them up in the air for a while and then I can put my shoes back on and everything's fine I don't know if I've mentioned this, but I have about a nickel going on quarter sized blister on the inside of my right heel. And I think it's where the insole and the shoe rubs. And that's where I got it because it's kind of a lateral blister. So I have covered it with a piece of tissue Kleenex and then Lugo tape over it and it didn't pop today. I thought it was going to pop today or it did pop but it didn't. 
and um, had some amazing views, had trail magic. There were oranges in one of the overlooks. I had somebody donate water to me, which was fabulous. And um, I met some great people on the trail today. So I haven't figured out where I'm going tomorrow. Not yet. Um, either I take another evening or I can just march right into Middle Creek. It's about a nine mile day if I do that, but I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do right now. I think I'm going to relax and stretch out. So I will talk to you in the morning.